on the biggest stage that this competition which started out as the European Nations Cup back in 1960 game for them three million Portuguese living in the Paris area so the support is plentiful and passionate it's surely more of a help than a hindrance quite high enough not quite deep enough so Matuidi stepping in Griezmann not an easy ball to strike on the turn well, I've got players surging forward, players attacking the ball really well here, fans. First Sissoko, then plays Matuidi. And Portugal at the moment struggling to get up to the pace of France, getting robbed to the ball. 17 players in that first game, 15 of whom are involved in this squad. Here's Payet, not a slip. Well, what a good header. That was typical of a man in form from Griezmann. But Rui Patricio in Portugal's goal is having a good tournament too. And he was needed to stop that just looping in. Uh, starting with a mistake from Pepe. Missing the 10 minute mark in the final. France's corner taken by Payet. And, uh... That's a great run by Musa Sissoko. And they can't handle it, can they? They can't. Sissoko has done well on Rui Patricio, well again. It's uh, turning out to be a bit of a duel here. It just got plenty behind that. Coma. He's done well here. And that's better. He's uh, created the shooting chance for Antoine Griezmann. Not an easy one from that angle. It was ball to Coma. I don't think too many people in the stadium can believe he's missed that. Well, he's run off Guerrero at the far post, and I think the left back thought this was going to be a goal. They're wearing to their baggage. That's a big hit by Cohen, but uh, he wasn't too close to the target. He'll get back on his feet here, and he has done. For Giroud on his strong side. Another strong save from Rui Patricio. Real moment of quality like that from Sissoko. Coman. And then uh, the follow up from Musa Sissoko has done so much to try and get France in front. Evra. Gignac. He's spin here. He has done. <laughs> Great feet. Doesn't catch it cleanly, but. Must think he's done enough off the heel. Maurice, who's had so little to do, but uh, the players have more work, and no wonder. So, 15 minutes each way to go. Still awaiting the first goal in the final. Described on the trophy with that free kick. Here comes Ede. Not got much help. Oh, he doesn't need any help. How about that? The striker who rarely scores has scored maybe the biggest goal in the history of the Portugal national team. Well, I said earlier, he would have been an unlikely hero when he had that header saved by Hugo Lloris. But that drive from distance, he could not have hit it any better. As you say, Martin. Come on. Needs to get his cross in. Does get his cross in. Oh, the flag's up. The flag did go up in the end, but not on the shot from Martial. Always makes referees add on a little bit more time. But it's the greatest night in Portugal's football history. Their first major trophy against all the odds. And France, just as Portugal did themselves in 2004, fail in front of their own fans. And it's Portugal who are champions of Europe. They hadn't beaten the French for 41 years. Ten successive defeats. But the perfect time to put that... They are maybe party poopers in Paris, but they are... Portugal, 
and tonight they've been simply magnificent. Champions of Europe 2016.